is your favorite tattoo of all time? That I've done? None of them. <laughs> I would say none of them, you know, like I, I hate everything that I do. Like initially, like probably like the first five minutes after I tattoo, I'm like, that eh, looks cool. And then like I take 20 pictures and I'm like, ah, eh, swag. There's so many. Um, favorite of all time. Favorite um, tattoo of all time. Oh my gosh, that's so, so hard. Um, There's so much good work out there. I have way too many favorites. I definitely like this guy, Tommy O. He does some pop art stuff that's really cool. Um, Analog Disaster, he does like this pop art stuff that's really cool. I really love and I really into uh, microrealism, especially colorful microrealism. And I like the artist, the edit, she's from Israel. And I really, every time she's doing, I'm like, wow, that's so crazy. Look at this small cat or princess or wherever. And it's so clear and so dense. These tiny faces, these small details. Right now, a lot of like anime tattoos are really inspiring to me. And it's mostly because of like the color work that they do with those uh, tattoos. There's a, a tattoo artist out in England, he's called Simon Bell. And some of his like anime tattoos are ridiculous. And I look at them and I'm like, I would like to take how he colors and put that into like, you know, tattoos that are not anime. So when I color, I try to kind of like go with how he does it. My favorite tattoo is the one that I just most recently got by our bike game. Oh yeah. Gene Money. <laughs> uh, he did a tattoo for me that uh, represents both my kids. It's a Triceratops tattoo. And uh, the story behind it is when my wife was pregnant with my daughter, we asked my son, what should we name the baby? And he's like, bro, it's gonna be baby Triceratops. Like, That's the name of the baby. That's the name of the baby. So now I got a pink and purple Triceratops tattoo on my, on my wrist. My friend Sammy just did this tattoo. It was like a blast over. This is just like he, they just did this. So I, it's fresh on my brain, but also it's honestly like the best tattoo ever. It's Doodle Bob from SpongeBob, like as a full back piece. And then he's holding the pencil up and the pencil goes from the arms to the arm. It's so sick. There's this girl, God, I think her name is Yuwa. She's this Korean artist. Till this day, I have never seen a more beautiful tattoo. It was like a bodysuit with this fine line, like super detailed um, flowers and snakes that are just swirling all around his body. That, I think about that, I'm like, if I was a man, I mean, I could do that now too, but as a man, like, I, that is the tattoo I would want. I don't know how to say his name, Gakin X, Gakin X. He has these crazy body suits that are just full black, beautiful. They're amazing, they're just like really bold and big, which is the opposite of what I do, which is hilarious. I do not have their Instagram to my mind right now, but I believe their name is like Matias or Matthew. They're in Brazil. Um, it's like this beautiful like blue, um, how would I describe it? It's like almost like a pattern, um, but it gives off like alien vibes and I kind of really like that. Like a standout tattoo for me, I was in Anaheim and there was a, uh, I saw this dude, he turned around and I see his whole back is done up. And as I'm looking at it, it was this beautiful piece, man. It was, um, it's a, it's a famous painting that sits in the uh, Castillo de Chapultepec in Mexico City. I was floored when I seen that, you know, for both reasons, for one, being an artist and culturally, like it really hit home and I was like, man, that's beautiful. And then we turned out to be friends. It's Franco Viscovi. Yeah, there is so much talent now. These youngsters are coming out swinging, but as far as like a standout piece for me, that, that, that Franco Viscovi back piece. I don't have a favorite tattoo of all time, um, but there's a lot of artists that I truly respect. Yeah. I have my arm, my right arm naked just because I want to do one full concept and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go to Fibs on the West Coast uh, to blast that up. I really respect his, his work. He's got, he does nothing but big old limbs, so. Philip Blue is like one of my all time favorites. One of my favorite tattoos that I've seen is a full body suit by Philip Liu that is of a negative space dragon. The dragon goes around this whole body 
and there is no dragon there. It's just a silo, you know, a negative space silhouette of a dragon. And it's so simple. There's such like little shading there, but it's there's so much there already. So it's like a beautiful balance of simplicity and full coverage. So it's incredible. You know, some, some guys that I used to look up to back in the day kind of like suck now, but he's one of the artists that I see that is still like on par. I think the allure of Philip Lou is a lot of things, right? One, he comes from a family of tattooing, you know? Started tattooing when he was like 12 years old. Then he was one of the first people that really started, you know, combining traditional Japanese tattooing, but giving it a modern, more like a modern twist to it and really giving it like, dimension and like Japanese tattooing was very stiff and I feel like once he grabbed a hold of it it became so much more dynamic and just cool looking and I think like he's just inspired so many people. On myself I have like 10 and they were all done consecutively and like my entire family like my grandpa's like 80 to like my cousin who's like the age of five tattooed me all in one day I just passed the machine around like handed it off I got like my grandpa's name and then my grandma's name, but she was f***ing crying while she was doing it. She didn't want to. She got peer pressured into doing it because I'm kind of a cat. But that one dot is, it's all her. And then my grandpa kind of did the rest. He had like too much fun doing it. And then like my five-year-old cousin, she was like, I'm scared to do it. And I'm like, just do it. And it's going to be cool. And you're going to think it's so cool. And now I tattoo my family. So it's, it's fun. Yeah, everyone should get their family to tattoo them. I feel like that's like really wholesome. I have answered this and I will remain with this tattoo that I, I said before, which is Steve Moore's uh, got this amazing back piece where it's like a, a knight with a ghost coming out of its mouth and then it's just like from the neck down to the back of the thighs. So f***ing gorgeous, man. Speaking of, update. So I, when you guys posted that, I, I tagged him on Instagram and I was like, ah, oh, love you. Like this is a love letter to Steve Moore. He reached out to me and he was like, hey, have you ever tried to get in my book? So I was like, no. <laughs> so, so he said that whenever I'm ready, which is gonna take a second, but whenever I'm ready, like reach out to him and we'll we'll settle something up. So I was like geeking the f out. Like I literally, fan you guys, you have no idea. He like wrote me like a, a sweet like little blip like this. And I wrote him this much. And I was just like, I love your work so much. Oh my God. <laughs> and he was just like, S that's the kindest thing you've like, I've received in a while. You know, whenever you're ready, let me know. I was like, oh my God, I will. <laughs> I was like, he, he even said, he was like, whenever you're ready, send me this video, remind me that we spoke and like, I'll get you on my book. So I was like, thanks Inc. Look. Yeah. Wait, can you show the camera? That's the fashion that stop, should come stop, back. Stop, stop. Put it back, put it back. Okay. Need to focus. So can we put, can we do this to the dogs that exist here? Because there's a lot of these dogs. Do this to your dog for Halloween. Do this to your dog for Halloween. Put s on your dog. Please. Okay, let me find. Please, t your dog up.